the Chiang Praia Royal Navy ship was moored off Tatabay on December the 5th to have 93 sailing boats with sailors from across the world performing a sail pass ceremony in honor of His Majesty the King of Thailand for his birthday. The activity took place before the Friday racing of the 22nd Phuket Kings Cup Regatta established since 1987 during the birthday week of the king who was famous for sailing and winning a Southeast Asian Games gold medal 41 years ago. In the evening, sailors gathered for a party at Mom Tree's boathouse on Kata Bay and joined in Thailand celebrations to wish His Majesty the King, His Majesty King Pongapon, a prosperous birthday. The event ended with magnificent firework displays. The Puget Kings Cup Regatta ended on Saturday with four class wins for Australian crews, two for Thai crews, two for British and three for others. The week-long Puget Kings Cup Regatta, which saw 93 boats participating, ended on Saturday. The Royal Award presentation in the evening was presided over by Rear Admiral Mom Luang Usni Pramon, His Majesty the King's representative at Cata Beach Resort and Spa. The final day saw a dramatic final race at the 22nd Phuket Kings Cup when Australian Ray Roberts Quantum Racing outsold two Hong Kong Grand Prix races, Paul Winkerman's TP52 Island Flame and Neil Clyde's High Five to snatch a narrow victory on countback points. RC1 division had a very impressive win for Cruising Yacht Club of Australia Commodore Matt Allen and his high-caliber Australian crew aboard Ichiban. In the IRC, Chief Fleet Royal Thai Navy 1 came back from a horrific start to the regatta. She was dismasted during practice and missed the first race, but quickly came back into the series. In second place overall was Royal Thai Navy 2, followed by Peter Dyer's Madam Butterfly in third. Locally based Australian Scott Duncanson on Raymond Land, the Heights won first place in the sports boat class with an impressive eight points. Action Greece from Germany on Princess Anna won the Sunsail One Design Series after winning four out of five races. Russian sailor sailing Talisa won the Ocean Rover Series after three victories on handicap. In the class, Classic Class Series, British sailor Paul Bronning's Timber Gem Don Dang Sarong beat James Stull's beautiful Bangkok built sailing school schooners Argo and was also ahead of Ralph Goetz's Wakanda. The final result in Bearboat Charter Class was that Japanese skipper Tag won the series with Little Ava on her stern and Kinon third. In the ever competitive multi hull one division, Thai sailor Ratab Kanjanavanit on Sumiko Cedar Swan won ahead of Miss Saigon and ex Catriot. Kevin Whitcraft, the president of the Puget Kings Cup organizing committee, said he was certainly pleased with a week-long regatta and said he looked forward to an even better event in 2009. After the prize presentation, we talked to Ray Roberts, skipper of Quantum Racing from Australia and winner of the Kings Cup Top Racing Class. Quantum Racing beat three Hong Kong yachts, Island Fling, Hi-Fi and Jalik in a close finish on point. He was first in three races, second in one, third in two and fourth in one of seven races to get 15 points. One better than Island Fling and Hi-Fi. This was his third win in the King's Cup after 1995 and 2005. Ray first summed up his successful week. Let's check out. 
racing class at the King's Cup Regatta is a tough fleet and you've got some of the best sailors in the world. There are several sailors there that have won uh, Olympic medals. So to come out on top, uh, not only have you got to sail well, but you've got to sail consistently. So it's a matter of putting together seven good races and, uh, and it's the lowest points at the end of the day. So coming into the last race, we were lying in equal second. So it needed a good result in that last race. And uh, as uh, luck and good sailing would have it, we came out on top and uh, won the regatta by one point from uh, High Five from Hong Kong. So it's been uh, been a fantastic regatta because we've had good breezes and uh, great courses. How much of a factor was the wind? Because it's kind of dropped off towards the end of the week. Um, was it helpful to you with that less wind? Or you... Yeah, look, as, as long as the wind is, is fair across the course, and I found the breezes were quite fair. Some of the long races uh, didn't suit the style of boat that I've got. I, I was the smallest boat in the fleet, so if you've got long courses with long reaching legs, it helps the long waterline boats. So uh, we had bad races on, in the two long races, but on the, in the short windward courses, uh, we were able to sail our boat uh, above the handicap rating, and, and that's what got us up into first place. So good results in, in the short windward lure races which I think are a little bit more tactical also you know you've got a lot of uh, uh, sailing of angles downwind and uh, with the wind behind you and and you've got to get that right and uh, I think my team sailed very well to be able to put us in the right place at the right time. Tell us a bit about your crew where are they from? Are they all from Australia? Uh, most of my team are from Australia yes so uh, we sailed sort of uh, regularly together in, in races like the Sydney Hobart Regatta, we'll leave here and go back and do some training to sail in the Southern Ocean in Australia, all the way down to Tasmania, which is a 600 mile race in some of the toughest waters in the world. So uh, this has been a good preparation for us. But good warm up, man. Uh, contrast. Well, warm is the right word. It's, it's warm here and it's cold down there. So, uh, but you, you get a bit race fit by sailing in these conditions. So uh, that's been a good build up for our uh, attempt to win the Hobart race. Last year we, we finished third, this year we, we want to get number one, so uh, let's hope we're on a roll. Are you friendly with the other crews, you know, your main competitors, or is there a very fierce rivalry? Look, the racing here is, is very friendly and there's some great guys, but when you're out on the course, um, that's where the friendship ends. So, you know, you're out there trying to win, so if you can uh, get leverage off the guys and you're within the rules of the racing, then, uh, then you do it. So uh, we don't give them any quarter and uh, we don't ask for any. And uh, we, we, we sail tough and hard but fair. Is there a lot of banter, a lot of sort of talk between the, the crews? Yeah, there is because there's quite a few Australian crews out there. So you're always uh, jibing your mates from uh, down under. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a competitive rivalry. So we, we, but we play the game hard. Obviously during the week the parties all, every, almost every evening, isn't it? You get on well together there? Mm, that's why we like coming back to uh, Phuket because the after sailing parties are fabulous and uh, and you couldn't have a more beautiful place to sail and of course the, the Thai people are just wonderful. They're, they're very friendly and very welcoming and uh, we'll be back again next year. And a word for the organisers and the sponsors too? Yeah, look, the organisers uh, put together a great regatta. The sponsors, without them, you wouldn't have a regatta. So Raymond Land, uh, Kana Beach Resort and uh, Chang Beer, great, great sponsors that, that support this regatta for many, many years. So it's, it's good to see them doing it. And then also I must compliment the uh, the race committee. Uh, they, they have a tough job out on the course in difficult conditions trying to get true uh, mark settings so that you've got a fair course. So Tony Denham, the principal race officer, congratulations to him for doing a great job. Another Rossi.